moving on, we are on quiz three, question number three, and it is about uh, a survey of adults asking whether they've donated blood in the past two years, and some important figures for this problem are going to be the, the sample size, the sample size is two, three, oh, six. That's how many people were surveyed. Um, and I found that four, one, seven um, have donated blood in the past two years. So the first question is get a point estimate um, of who's donated blood in the, la in the last two years, which is um, pretty simple to do. We just take the people who have, which is four, one, seven, and divide that by the total uh, sample size, which is two, three, oh, six. And that is equal to 0 0.18. Percent, and then that's part A, and then part B is um, verify that the requirements for constructing the interval are about, about P are satisfied, and that basically means it has to be greater than ten. So as you can um, see from above, it's definitely going to be greater than ten because the formula is M P one minus P is greater than ten, which is going to be like three digits to one of numbers. Um, I think it's about 320, which is definitely greater than 10. And then for C, uh, C says um, construct a 90% confidence in interval for the population uh, proportion of adult Americans who have donated blood. And so we're gonna, obviously first we need to find the lower bound and the upper bound. So the lower bound, sorry, L, is um, 0. Minus 1.645, minus because it's the lower bound, and then we need to multiply that by this number again, 0 0.181, and then times that by 1 minus 0 0.181 over the sample size, which is 2306, and that's going to give you 0 0.168 um, for the lower bound, 0 0.168. And then to find the upper bound, it's pretty similar. Um, I'm just going to erase this. So for the upper bound, um, it's pretty much the same. You can do 0 0.181. But instead of doing a minus, you can do a plus because it's the upper bound. 0 0.181 plus um, 1.6. Of um, 0 0.181 uh, minus 1 minus 10 to 0.81. And then that's again going to all be over the um, sample size, which is the 2306. And that is equal to uh, 0 0.194. So this is the upper bound, 0 0.194. And then we have the lower bound over there, which is 0 0.188. And then the final part of this problem asks, asks, us to, asks us to interpret the interval. And basically what that means is we have to say what, what, what the interval means, which is uh, that we can use 90% confidence because it's, um, that's the confidence interval we use. We can use 90% confidence that um, between the lower bound of 0 0.168, and so it's going to be, be between the lower bound of that, and then between that and the upper bound of 0 0.194. So yeah, that's uh, question three.